Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Earlham today. I found some semaphore signals now. As you can see, we're actually standing on a road, not a railway line. But there's a sign there that says the station. That's exactly where we're going. We're going to Earlham Railway Station. And you can see also it says Earlham there, and that is the station approach road up there. But we're not going to walk along the station approach road. We're going to go a much more exciting way. I've discovered something really quite exciting. And just to start it off, look, someone has made a pump truck out of wood and metal and put it on some little narrow gauge track. So that's really like that, I think that's really cool. And it kind of introduces where we're going, both the semaphore signals and the pump truck. We're going here, the station park. Now this is a really cool little linear park that takes us up to the railway station. If you have a look up there, you can actually see the station park, all of that is with nails. So someone's hammered a load of nails in to make letters, which I think is quite cool. So. So we go up here, up the little path. We're going to see some quite exciting things on our way to Earlham Station and Earlham Station itself is going to be very exciting. So let's walk up the path and see what we find. So if you're wondering where the railway is, it's just over there behind that building, it runs across there now. I'm not entirely sure exactly how it all worked out, but I know at some point Earlham Station has been recited to a higher level. So what we'll see in a minute, we should be able to see where I think possibly the original railway station was. But let's first enjoy more of the walk down this path. It kind of goes up and down a bit, clinging on to the edge of the bank. I think this is one of the most exciting approaches to a railway station I've ever discovered. Brilliant. I've just seen something rather amusing ahead in the tree as a bird's nest. Now, nothing that unusual about a bird's nest, but look at this one. The net, the net, um, the nest, sorry, is made of barbed wire and the bird is made of metal. I think that's really cool. And if you look, there's secateurs and he's giving like a piece of metal to the secateurs um, to feed the babies. So um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll get a clearer picture and I'll post that in now so you've just seen the picture so you can see it better because it's hard for the camera to pick it out but i think that's a really cool little piece of art we're gonna now continue our walk oh look there's another metal bird on the tree up there see that that bird's made out of metal i like that someone some artistic person has had quite a cool idea and they've kind of put their art together i'm not sure if all oh, frame up to East Midlands Railways Class 158. It's probably on a Liverpool to Norwich service. So yeah, someone with their artwork has kind of put together some of the art that forms this park. There's a bench there. You can sit here and watch trains in the distance. So I think the original railway was possibly a bit lower to see where the park will come to that in a minute, how it kind of goes out to where below the bridge is. That must have been the original railway. Because I understand at some point Earlham Station was recited to a higher level. But I'm not sure the exact reason for that is. So anyone who knows, wants to comment, you're welcome to do so. Now, this is getting more exciting because as we come down here, going back to the railway theme, you can see they've kind of made a railway themed path with a turntable, but look at this. It's like it's some cool little fairy tale house in reality that someone's made here and I'm not sure is that me but to me that looks like the front of a steam logo the saddle tank don't think anyone's at home no one seems to be coming to the door but um, yeah more sort of on the artwork of the station I think that is really cool oh look it's kind of like look you can see inside nice fire and candles so yeah that is so cool I like that little part that's um something just completely different. I've never been to a railway station that has a hut like that before. That is, you know, I'd say that is unique. And I think we are possibly standing on the original railway track there, because if you look there, that appears to be a bridge abutment. I might be completely wrong, so if I am, then, you know, do correct me, but that's the current railway. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure on that one, but that is so funny that there's a, a little fairy tale cottage on the way to a railway station. And here's like a turntable. There's like another door there. 
and there's a window. It's like that's like another funny house. So um, right, let's go up the steps. Oh look, there's a face there. Someone made a face out of a rake and a spade. A rake and a yeah, rake and a spade. That's cool. We need more railway stations with parks like this. Oh look, you can see inside the house or get an idea. Trompe l'oeil of the interior. I like it. I like living in a house like that. Right, let's go up the stairs and let's go and find Earlham Railway Station. If you're enjoying this video, we've got more interesting things to see as we go up these steps. There's actually like a little... Some of you who watch my videos regularly will know I like lookout towers. Especially when we go to like East and that we forgot and find them. Well, it's not a lookout tower because we're kind of level with the road, but it's a lookout area. We can look down, clearly see the turntable and the railway themed path. We can see where we've come from. We've come all down from here. We can see what a small area this part of. But pretty much a one in one slope. It just kind of shows you that you can pretty much have a park anywhere you want really there's not really anywhere you can't do something exciting and arty and have like a a nice cool park right we're now heading towards the railway station and it's um it's a really really nice railway station whether we're going to see any trains pass through we should do um but before that we come to something even more exciting i can just see it oh look there's in the shape, this isn't it, but this is also exciting. In the shape of buffers, there's like uh, another station park sign. So it's it's pretty much new, new. Open to commemorate the visit of Her Majesty's Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester to Earlham Station on the 8th of May 2019. So it's less than a year old. But like I was saying about the nails, see how it's made out of nails. I think that is really cool. I really like that. But getting more exciting, we have a goods train. And it's steam hall, there's a plinth steam load, go with some wagons. When we go to Eastern Europe, we quite often find plinth locos, but in this country, you don't see so many of them. That's because a lot of them are at Heritage Railways, and I would rather see them out working. But this is just such a nice example of a little heritage display. I think this is, you know, I'd like to think one day the loco could go off and run again, then they could bring another industrial loco here. So let's just have a look at the wagons. We've got this one, this is like one that would have carried molten slag. You can see how it's kind of gone off up there, but this would have actually tipped. If I'd been standing here, I'd have been, you know, literally burnt away. There's um, a tanker, then there's a typical, you know, um, five plank wagon, and then here's the loco. Now, to me, it looks like a Peckett loco. It's an 040, so it's only got four wheels, number 2027, so I assume that's its works number. It's called Earlham. If anyone knows a bit more, wants to tell me, you know, you're welcome to comment. So, really nice to see a steam loco. A Peckett loco. So, very nice. If anyone knows where she was before she came here, because I'm getting the impression she probably has only been here since May last year. If you do know and want to comment and tell me, then again, you know, please do comment and tell me. I'd, I'd love to hear more information. Right, now let's go to the station itself. It's a lovely old station building. It's built by the Cheshire Lines Committee in the 1870s, this station opened. But what they've done, looks to me like they've made it into a pub so I can go and have a pint because I have got a bit of time. Admittedly, I only came to this railway station for the sake of coming to this railway station. I haven't actually been into Earlham. There's a lot of information there about the history, which if you come here, you can read in your own time. Here's the railway station here. Oh, it's half three. And there's a train to Liverpool at 1606. So I need to be on that one. But we're going to... Um, Look at this, isn't that really nice? Yeah, what a great railway station to have. You know, such a nice outdoor area. That's going to look inside as well. But you know, I'm just about spending all the summer's evening sitting here with a pint. Can we get in? Oh, here we are. Yeah, through here. Uh, must be, must be great. Look at these stationary engines. They're really cool. Look at that. I really like that. So this is. To me, this is like a perfect railway station. We need more railway stations with cafes and railway themed cafes like that. And if you just have a look across the platform, there is a rather nice mural. And you can see a big mural of the bridge over the Manchester Ship Canal. If you get on the train, go that way, pass over it. Let's have a look up here. So 
so let's just go and have a look up here. So there's an old signal box. There's a, looks like it's a children's play area and it's called Platform 9 and 3 quarters. And there's a steam loco. It's called James. And if you have a look in there, there's some more semaphore signals. There's also some mileposts. There's a signal lever and semaphore signal himself. And here is a signal box, which again, I think is really nice to see a preserved signal box. So let's just have a look at the front of the railway station. And I think it's time that we went in and I got a pint. So we look at, I love having a pint at a railway station. I mean, I like a pint anyway, but a railway station, yeah, you know, can't beat it. So let's just go in and see what's inside. So this must be the entrance. If not, it's round back on platform. I see. No, can't get in that way. I think the main entrance is on the platform. So we're going to go around here. Yes, see the steam loco again. Let's go and find our way. So you actually have to walk onto the platform to go to this pub, which is quite cool. I'd love to spend, if I knew a steam train was coming here, I'd just come here and spend all evening drinking until it arrives. Just gonna get it started. Oh, it's getting windy now, let's get out. Let's get inside of some more interesting railway Arna there. Museum for admission, even better. Look at that one inside. Just try and let you have a look round without talking to us. Yeah. Oh, That's a gradient post, but they've also said upstairs it's more local. Just to say, let's go up there and see what we find. Nice. Spiral staircase. What a brilliant railway station. We need more railway stations like this. So we're kind of up in the loft now. And uh, there's more railway armour. And um, yeah, it's, it's very nice. I really, really like this railway station. Coming into here, it says this is the Cheshire Lines Committee Room. Even more interesting. So yeah, very, what an interesting railway station. Um, I'm going to go back downstairs now, have a pint. But yeah, this, this is a perfect railway station. We need more railway stations like this. So from upstairs at Erlen Railway Station, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Well, it's not quite the end of the video. Um, I noticed this area is called Loft, but they very kindly said I could come and have a look in here. Because there's even more. Look at this, they've actually created like the side of a train. And you can sit inside and you can look out the window while having a meal or a drink. So that is really nice. There's a load of luggage here. And then you go in here, there's another room. And it's just, just really nicely themed. So, yeah, top marks to Friends of Urban Station, who I believe created this museum. So, as I said, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe comment etc and if you're out in Greater Manchester or Liverpool do come and visit Earlham station it's a really great railway station